There are many different parks located around Kilmarnock. You have Kay Park, which offers a firework event every year for Guy Fox. Dean Castle is where you can go for the history and with great range of farmyard animals to visit as well as the castle which has its strong historical connections with many people and events in Scottish history. Kilmarnock Football Club, founded in 1869, is a proud fixture of the town and helps the local community stay fit and healthy. So it's a massive benefit to the community as a whole having the Astro pitch here. Um, you know, what would these kids be doing if they weren't in here training? Kilmarnock has an ice cream shop which is renowned amongst the town's locals. It was founded in the 1930s and named after the cinema it was situated near. Over the years, its range of flavours have grown. It is now famous for having quirky and unusual flavours, such as Nutella, Scottish Tablet, Iron Brew Sorbet, to its very own signature, Kelly Blue. Johnny Walker was born near Kilmarnock in 1805. Originally a grocer, he went on to develop the world-famous whisky, which was then known as Walker's Kilmarnock Whisky, and his son and grandson went on to develop the brand after his death in 1857. Despite being famous for the whisky, Johnny Walker himself was actually teetotal. The nightlife scene in Kilmarnock is always eventful and full of youths out to have a great time. It has a mix between stylish clubs and doing karaoke. The top places people go are Bagels, Sugar Sugar, Fanny by Gaslight and The Garage. They are also both a five minute walk from the bus station which is handy for everyone looking for a way home after a great night out in Kilmarnock. The swimmer sculpture by Shona and Locke were installed in the town in 1995 as part of an environmental improvement project. It commemorates that the river runs underneath the town. These metal statues are beautiful, striking and unique and provide a real quirkiness for the Kilmarnock town centre. The people of Kilmarnock are proud of where they're from, and quite rightly so, overcoming many hardships over the past decades. Filled with vibrant characters and incredible talent, the town has bounced back and is constantly improving. The people here are always keen to support local projects and ideas, which is part of which makes this town such a good community. As we all know, Halloween is traditionally celebrated on the 31st of October. However, this isn't the case in Kilmarnock. In Kilmarnock, Halloween is actually celebrated on the last Friday of the month. There's a couple of reasons as to why this will be, but the most likely is that this is when the workers were paid and could afford to spend a wee bit extra on Halloween festivities. The indoor market is the largest and most known market in Ayrshire. It's home to 70 stalls and highlights a strong sense of community and traditional trading in the town. Despite facing challenges with the modern world and the ease of the internet, the indoor market continues to thrive and be an eccentric asset to the town. Kilmarnock is a former industrial town and is nowadays a bustling town with a central shopping hub with a huge variety of retail outlets. A large number of the shops in the centre are charity shops, portraying the sense of community the town has and the importance of volunteering and giving back to the town. The Kelly Pie is mostly sold at the Rugby Park, the home ground of the Kilmarnock football team, and it's also made at the Brownings Bakers. It's unique in that it's a state pie and not a scotch pie. It had won at the award for best pie in football two years running, and it has the reputation amongst the public for best quality. The name was recently changed to the Kilmarnock Pie. One of Kilmarnock's most underrated treasures is its art. Various works of art can be found throughout the town, such as the graffiti art on Sandbed Street, to the exhibitions that are held at the Wellington Art Gallery, which supports many local artists, as well as artists from further afield. The Dick Institute is also worth a mention here, as it often plays host to many art exhibitions. Bank Street, situated in the heart of Kilmarnock, is home to a wide variety of small businesses and independent stores. It is the only street in Scotland that has every shop space occupied. From trendy boutiques, cafes and cobbled roads, Bank Street is a beautiful place to experience. There are many independent cafes to visit around Kilmarnock. Each cafe has a wide range of different snacks and meals as well as drinks. WG13, which is located in the centre of the town, offers great space to entertain whether it's birthdays or business meetings. It is also a community enterprise helping people in the community to get back into employment. 
This is reason number seven to visit Kilmarnock. This is the Grand Hall, which has staged many exciting performances, such as uh, Kasabian and the Proclaimers. Uh, the song Ballroom Blitz by Sweet is actually based on an incident in here when the band was showered with bottles and had to run for their life off stage. For reason number six to visit Kilmarnock, this is the Palace Theatre. It's a great wee theatre, it seats about 500 and does lots of wee local shows and things like that and big things such as the Panto and things like that as well and it's a great place to visit and come and enjoy some classical theatre. The Institute is a museum and library that features the largest museum and art gallery space in Ayrshire. It displays contemporary artists along with young filmmakers and young photographers' work from primary schools. It was also used as a hospital during World War I. There are also some Johnny Walker displays featuring a selection of illustrations and objects from the company and from the Institute's own collections. Twa Dogs are a famous poem by Robert Burns, the story of two dogs that come from different social backgrounds. Kilmarnock has two statues representing the two dogs. The poem was included in the works of the Kilmarnock edition. This work was then published at John Wilson's, a local printer in Kilmarnock. Kilmarnock train station built over 204 years ago isn't your typical station. In 2014, a small group formed a trust to bring back the rooms on the platform back into use. The rooms are funded for East Ayrshire's Council's Renewable Energy Fund. The rooms now offer office space, meeting rooms, gift shop, bookshop and a coffee shop, all providing something into the community due to the volunteering work in the shops. Theatre is important to Kilmarnock because it gives young people a place where they can do the performing arts, do the musical theatre, perform on stage, come build competence and skills, um, meet new friends. And we also find that the youth theatre is a place that people that becomes part of a family, they look after each other and we feel as if it's something that gives to the community. Kilmarnock scooped up a major award and fought off Irvine to be crowned Scotland's most improved town, just a year after winning the worst town in Scotland title. It all started as a £43 million project to revitalise the Scottish town. It made new renovations to the Palace Theatre and had new refurbishments in Bank Street. It all got pulled together and in the end Kilmarnock now has made a new name for itself.